Good morning, sorry friend. It's Mitty Man coming at you again from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. Uh, this is Sunday morning edition of it. And uh, we like to say we give God all the praise and all the honor and the glory. We, give him, we thank Him for life, health, and strength. We thank Him for as well as it is, people, because it could have been the other way. Uh, we also want to thank God for all the cyber friends. You know who you are. Uh, we want to say that uh, I want to say to my sister Kate, one of my dear friends, I call her a friend, really. Been knowing her a long time, cyber wise. Never met personally, but one day, if not on this side, we will meet on the other side. But we're just hoping that we will get a chance um, to just keep on conversing through the through the uh, use of the technology that we have in emails and the cyber uh, Facebook uh, posts and all that we hopefully one day that we can do more corresponding in other words uh, to some to, to some others uh, that we have become close to on the net nevertheless though we thank God for your sister Kate and I did see your 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 video that you sent me and uh, it's awesome it's awesome. I, I, I'm a, I love singing. I love, well, <laughs> it's, it's obvious I love singing. I'm a minister of music, three churches, so obvious I must. I got to have a little liking to singing. But what I want to say this morning, uh, you know, uh, I got uh, some people uh, that I want to keep in this prayer all lifted up in prayer. I want everybody, to, everybody that see my videos and everything the one that do watch them and I, I realize that um, I, I mean maybe not a lot of people see these videos but I'm going to continue to do them because I'm not doing it for people to uh, what I would say you know I, would, I wish that everybody would understand and, and realize that we all need a savior but I realize that everybody doesn't realize that and so many people do not they frown on things of uh, a spiritual nature but at any rate we're going to say bye and bye bye and bye uh, old, the old hymn said bye and bye when the morning comes and all the saints of God are gone together and home we'll tell the story how we overcome for we will understand it better bye and bye you know I, I think about that and matter of fact like I said when I think about some of the people in the that's dear to me they're in nursing homes and this is what I'm asking all the cyber friends to do just pray for those people in these nursing homes. Let's pray for them. Uh, matter of fact, uh, my gr my grandma passed away just about. It's going on two years now. May twenty seven to be two years, and uh, she passed away. And she spent the last three and a half uh, years in the uh, in the nursing home. And. God knows I must admit it was hard for old middle man to go back because my grandma was crazy about me and I know it I don't I don't need to be trying to say nothing no any, there's nothing anyone could tell me anything about my grandmama this and that I knew my grandmama very well and I know she was crazy about me and it was very very hard for me the time that I went up to the nursing home to, to visit and see how she was doing, uh, it was it was very hard on me. I, I got to admit, but I, 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 I every time I went, I, I had to ask God, I had to lean on God very very strongly to go and to uh, to visit her and see how she was doing and everything. But I was the time few times that I did make it, I had to rely on God every time, and it was. I mean, I'm just that way according. See, you know what? People can talk about you. But one thing about it, I'm glad that God knows about it. God knows your circumstance. And I, I've always had a very, very soft spot for people that could not do for themselves. Like we in our facilities that we have. We, those of us that are blessed yet and still, doesn't mean that we won't get it, but I'm saying I'm praying to God that we don't, none of you have to go through that. Me and you and nobody else. But in case it might be, you're not there. So you don't understand. So 
what it is. I mean, do what you can do. That's the only thing I can say. Cause it's very hard for me to, to it's even hard for me to even visit sick. I mean, people that are very ill, very, it's hard. But I, I, I don't mind praying at a distance. But I believe that might be a little bit selfish, people. I don't know that yet, but I believe that might be a little bit selfish. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, <clears throat> I'm hoping that the Lord, they always say he, the song say he'll understand and say, well done. That's what I'm hoping for. But what I'm saying is we ought to do what we can do. We ought to do what we can do. So that's what I'm asking all the side friends. Just pray for those that are bound and come in jail and, and those that are incarcerated. Pray for those in the nursing home, those that are sick. Let's pray for those people that God will raise them up. Let's do that. And then go from there. That's what I'm saying. In other words, I'm telling you to do what I got to do. I mean, I'm going to, I got to do it first because, see, I, I haven't been doing the thing that I thought that I think God want me to do as well. So we're just saying one day we get there, we get, when we, when we get on the other side, we're going to be glad. Those that have stuck to the faith and stuck to the, to the, to the, to the, to the bloodstained hands of Jesus, one day we're going to be glad we did. And I do believe the Bible. I do believe the Bible. People say, how do you know that's the Bible? Well, you know what? When people, I try to avoid people with foolish questions and foolish comments. I mean, really and truly, how do we really know anything if you, want, if you just want to bring it down to the facts? But nevertheless, we all got a conscience. And in my conscience, in other words, that, that's a song that says, up above my head, I hear music in the air. In other words, up above my head, I do hear music in the air. And I really, really do believe there's a heaven somewhere. That song rings real big with me because in my heart and in my soul, People, I know that there's got to be something beyond what we see. I mean, come on now, y'all. Walk with me, man, just for a little bit this morning. You, 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 you cannot, I don't believe anyone could think or fathom that you is the end of all this creation. Or me, for that matter. In other words, look at all that the, it just in this world look at all the different things that we have in this world that God created well we know we got someone said no he didn't it, everything just happened to be just, it just blew up and it turned out to be a dog and a cat well I'm going to tell you like this many man don't believe none of that I, it takes too much faith to believe that this, what we see, just happened. Just something, some some sporadic explosion created all this and all this stuff that we see. The perfectness of the moon that controls the tide of the seas. The gravitational pull is just right to keep us solid on this planet. The breath that we breathe is mixed just right. The air, I mean that we breathe in our lungs is mixed just right with the, um, just the right amount of oxygen. Come on, people. There's got to be a, 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 a divine designer. For all of this, there's got to be a divine designer. And, it, and it's, that designer is very, 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 very intelligent. In other words, even in more intelligent than so-called some of us, because remember, we were made in his image. I don't know why I keep on bringing that subject up again. But we were made in his image. So we, we look something like God. But he's not a man. Very intelligent. He's just put everything in the... People, do you know that scientists, the scientists, these people at NASA, which are very intelligent, very smart, they will tell you that if the earth was just an inch 
closer to the sun or an inch farther away from the sun, you know we would burn up or we would freeze to death certain times of the year. See, in other words, we the, the earth makes a, a, a cylindrical orbit around the sun. People, I know you think the sun is moving, but no, the sun is static. We are moving. The earth revolves on its axis. It takes 24 hours for it to make one complete spin. And it takes 365 days to circumvent the sun. In other words, it is not, it's moving, it's moving in two dimensions. You know, I, I don't want to get scientific with this, but in other words, the earth is moving around the sun. It's traveling around the sun with the, all the other planets, which is nine, or they say they don't discover ten, about two or three more, I ain't gonna tell how many more now. But all of them in this Milky Way, they revolve around the sun. So you see, the earth is not only moving around the sun at 365 days a year, but as it moves around and makes its orbit around the sun, it is still spinning. It is spinning and moving at the same time. God, that's somebody intelligent had to do that and placed it just at the right distance from the sun to keep up from burning up in the summertime and to keep us from freezing to death in the wintertime. Because as you notice, during the fall of the year, which we are coming into right now, and I'm going to hurry up with this video. During the fall of the year this time, the earth is at a real nice spot. It's at a sweet spot from the sun, the distance from the sun, the earth orbit, and the way it's tilted. Remember, the earth is not straight up and down. It's tilted. But it at a, in the fall of the year, it's at a very, it's at a real sweet spot. Therefore, it's not too cold, not too hot. But it's sort of like in that just right moment. Just like it is in the spring time of the year. It is not it is not too close to the sun, not too far from the sun, but it's in that just right spot. It's in the sweet spot. Therefore, in the autumn and the in the spring, we have pleasant, mild weather. But oh brother, when winter time comes and summer, those are two other extremes. This the winter time when we are the closest, or I mean the Take that back. The winter time is when we are the earth is the farthest from the sun, from the sunlight, from the heat of the sun. Therefore, our climate and the way the earth is tilted give us our winter. And it's cold. But if it if the earth was one just one feet off, one feet, we would freeze to death. If it were one feet closer to the to the, to, to the uh, further away from the sun or closer to the sun, we would burn up. You know, somebody was very intelligent, and you know what? It wasn't me, and it wasn't you. So now, the Bible said in the beginning, God, that's enough for me. God that had no beginning will have no end. In the beginning, God. So I know what the, 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 the atheist said, there's no God. Well, you know what? It takes a lot of faith to believe there's no God. So I'm going to just stick with the Bible said in the beginning. God. So I'm just saying, people, going out this morning to Pleasant Grove AME to do the same thing I've been doing all this month. I've have I've had family and friend day at each one of my churches this month. First, second, and third Sunday. And today is the last one, I think. So pray for me to man strength. And we just thank God for life, health, and strength. And we pray for you. So whatever you get, whatever you get into it. If God ain't in it, best you stay out of it. This is Midi Man saying peace. Good day.